the design industry is gearing up for Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week here in New York, but if you're not able to make it to the tent or into a showroom, our next guest could help. Elsa Magnus Doder is the CEO and co-founder of a new online retailer debuting during Fashion Week. It's called Moda Aperande. The website promises to let its members choose from entire collections right after they debut on the runway. And Elsa joins me now here live in the studio. Good to see you. Good to meet you in person. Nice to meet you. So tell us about this site and what it does. I mean, we've seen a proliferation of sort of e-tailers, I guess, over, you know, over several years. Mm -hmm. But a couple that come to mind is Net-A-Porter, and then you have Gilt. But Gilt seems to be taking sort of a, seems to be making a lot of headlines in terms of the fashion industry. And it, it's a site that my, here's my litmus test, my 11-year-old knows about <laughs> Gilt. But what you're doing is something that's very different in terms of which end of the spectrum it, you're catering to. It is very different. So we are the first online retailer to focus on allowing our customers to pre-order from the latest runway styles. So we're basically offering our customers tomorrow styles today. So they can they go to so make it very simple for me to understand because they need to be visceral. If, if I go to the Fashion Week show, I'll be sitting next to the runway yeah. and I can pull up the website and order from there or I can sort of get a sense for what I like, go to the website and then order. Yeah, it, it won't be immediate, at least not in, in season one, but but typically two days after the runway show, we will feature the designer on our site and the, the designer trunk show will live on the site for 36 to 72 hours. And during that time, our members can pre-order any of the styles from the runway. And this is, I have to say, I don't get to all the fashion shows. I get to maybe one per, sh per fashion week here in the city. And I will say that what appears in the department stores seems to be very different than what you actually see during fashion week. And that's sort of what what you're appealing to is to the person who really wants to get what they see on the on the runway so to speak absolutely that was the one of the big reasons we wanted to start this business is we had had personal experiences our friends had had experiences where they saw something come down the runway that they really loved and they wanted to secure that piece and then they waited four or five months for the collection to come into store but unfortunately it wasn't bought by the store and if it was bought it wasn't in their size it really sort of it has until your site really the power is sort of remains in the hands of the buyers for these big department stores, the Saks and Macy's, and if they weren't picking certain pieces off the runway, then you as a customer were not able to buy that piece. No, that, that's absolutely correct. And until now, there hasn't really been any mechanism for designers to get immediate feedback from customers in terms of what, what it is they want. Uh, one of the great advantages they see to our site is within two, three days of their show, they know what the woman in LA is reacting to. They know what the woman in the Middle East is reacting to. And they can actually use that information to make better deci decisions about what they produce, what they put into their own stores and, and what they put on their websites. We were just talking a little bit about the membership before we went into break. This is a very exclusive sort of website. It's not, I mean, Gilt used to have sort of a, an exclusive niche to it, but then just became more of a mass market mm -hmm. sort of a discounter. Now, you have a different setup though. We do. There, there are really two aspects to the exclusivity. One, one is the, the designers that we feature on the site. We're working with top designer brands from around the world. We've started with about 40 to 50 for the first season and are continuing to add very selectively the designers that we feature. From a customer uh, or member perspective, um, we also wanted to start with a relatively small group. We, we started with our own personal networks, uh, Lauren Santo Domingo, my business partner and I, and built on through networks of, of those friends and so associates. You have to get in by referral and is there a, a fee for membership? There is no fee for membership. Uh, the initial list was, was built through our, our uh, personal contacts, but you can now go on to the website and apply for membership. Uh, we do rely very heavily on referrals though in, in assessing an application. And where do you expect your your base to build? Will it be primarily U.S. or will you have sort of a, a global presence or global membership? We will be shipping immediately to over 150 countries around the world. So we expect our members to be pretty much everywhere. Our initial list, I would say, is 60% in the U.S. And, the, and then the rest spread out around the world. Now you have some very high-end designers that are already signed up to work with you. Give us a, a few examples and then 
Some of the expected price points, what do you think sure. the average price point will be for one of the items purchased? Yeah, so so the designers, we're very proud of the roster of designers that, that we have on the site. And we try to put together a good mix from emerging designers like Prabal Guru to more established brands like Chloe and Nina Ricci and Vera Wang. Um, but all of them have in common that they generate a lot of buzz and they are top quality brands. Price points can range anywhere from a designer t-shirt at $200 up to gowns at, at $20,000. Now, I, I understand sort of making it exclusive, and I have to imagine, you know, what, when a buyer from a big store like Saks comes in, they're buying for all the stores around the world. Um, there's a benefit to the designer in some sense to, to be able to produce, the, you know, sort of mass produce those items. In this mm -hmm. case, are they making one item per order for your clients? No. The, the idea really is, is to allow those special runway pieces that don't otherwise get ordered by the stores to have a life outside of the runway. We, however, work with each designer to understand what their minimum quantities are for a style. So if there is a minimum we can put on our site, there is a minimum for this particular item, and if it isn't met during the trunk show, then, then the member's card won't be charged. All right, and it goes live. You can go to the website and take a look at the website for information, but it goes live February 16th. February 16th will be our first trunk show. We'll be featuring Alexander Wang. All right, Alsa, thank you so much for joining us. I look forward to seeing the site. That was Alsa Magnus' daughter. She is the co-founder and CEO of Moda Operandi. You should take a look at it.